Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am building, or starting to build, this Ravel 70 Plymouth Duster Funny Car. The Flashpoint of the Venice, California Fire Department. This kit was sent to me from Ravel and asked if I would review it. And I already did the box opening as you've seen. And now I'm going to build it. So what I've done opened it up and as always I like to remove all of my parts off of the trees so here's everything except for the glass and the tires so everything's here all the white parts I've already cleaned them up um, there's not much cleanup on it there's a little bit this, um, this is an old I believe an old uh, monogram originally created this uh, kit and now Ravel owns it but so it's got a little cleanup on it Get all the chrome parts off of the trees. Some of the chrome parts I am going to re-chrome. I'm going to re-chrome the wheels and I'm going to chrome the um, the exhaust pipes because they're they're just styrene plastic color. So I'm going to paint those to try to you know resemble the uh, the box. So it's got a little taping. You have to tape off a little bit. Um, it does have a black. The front portion does have a black hood. It's hard to tell. Actually, on the box, you can probably see it even better. Hood's it's black, and you've got to paint the bumpers. All those things are on the body, so the body has the bumpers attached. Excuse me. So they're already on there. They just have to be. Oh boy. There we go. Yeah, the bumpers are on. So you'll take those off after you paint the body. And I got it all cleaned up. A lot of this stuff's ready to start assembling. I'll assemble as much as possible and then paint together with the chassis. Um, I haven't cleaned all the uh, chrome parts. What the reason I would re-chrome some of the chrome parts is because if a let's just say a uh, where is it at that no not that but like a light bezel. Okay, here, this is an example. See so if I can get it to focus. So this light bezel, it's got a seam on it. Well, if you tried to scrape that seam off, then you're going to have a, you're going to have a, 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 lot, a line that has no chrome. So if it's p parts like that, where I have to scrape the seam to try and smooth it off and it loses some chrome, then I'll re-chrome it. Other than that, I think on this, I'll try to put it together the way it came. Um, but I will be doing the wheels because I had to do some cleanup on the wheels and it kind of gets around the edge knocks the chrome off So I'll re-chrome those and a few other parts, but that's I'm going to try to stick with the box on this thing uh, Put it together just out of the box uh, Again with just a few extra things like that chrome plating But other than that, let me get a few parts together and we'll be right back All right, well <clears throat> got the body primered ready to paint and all of the other stuff that I could get stuck to toothpicks. This is the chrome that I'm not going to re-chrome. So these are the chrome pieces that are left. And then over here, all the chrome pieces that now, well, not every one of them, but most of those were chrome and I de-chromed them. So I'm going to add a, a coat of black, gloss black, and then I will paint them. Um, a metal color so this thing uh, the instructions say Italian red so I just happened to have some Tamiya Italian red actually that's what I painted my Alfa Romeo with was Italian red so I've got already got some of that mixed up so I'm about to shoot some paint on this body so I'll paint my base red and then I will tape it off and paint the black and the bumpers so this ought to be fun all right, uh, and also the the grill will be um, silver lined, and then dang, yeah. Anyway, there we go. It's gonna look good. All right, here we go. Let's get to painting. All 
Alrighty. Well, I got the red paint on the body. Um, gloss didn't turn out like I wanted, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to, uh, once I decal it, I'll, I'll shoot some clear over it to clear the decals. And so I just got a hefty coat of red, Tamiya Italian red. I've got to tape off the grill, the bumpers, the rear, the, the rear, the lower spoiler or valence whatever you want to call it and the same with the uh with the back bumper so i'll do that get that taped off and paint and also all the chrome parts that i dechromed they're all in a shiny black um to me a gloss black and i will now start to shoot some metallic colors on them so um oh also the chassis it's over to my right the chassis and the main portion that covers everything like the giant firewall that goes up there that will also be painted so um I, the box art shows a white chassis i'm gonna go with a probably a stainless steel color chassis and um aluminum for the where's the blower there's the blower and all that back there so yeah got some cool stuff to spray on these a few different colors so i'll set up the camera spray some I've got some progress done here i skipped ahead just a little bit but i did get the body painted i still have to paint the front bumper and the uh spoiler down there but i did tape it off painted the black that's just flat black because this is going to get a clear coat anyway because i want to clear over my decals so i'll have to uh black the uh, window rubbers or the window uh, seals front and back got the rear uh, bumper painted and uh, anyway and I got quite a bit done on the chassis. Got the engine installed and um, most of it is installed. Still a few parts I got to put on. Um, seat is right there and I got to get that in. Wheels mounted up. Did get the uh, rears glued together. So I have to sand them down really nice. Anyway, got those glued together. It's coming along pretty nice. Got to install the headers. Let me get some focus here. The headers, after all this has to be installed first, I'm getting the steering components in the front of it. And uh, I left as many parts chrome as I could. But And then I went and did the uh, me metal colors. Excuse me. But I did the uh, metal colors on the chassis. And it's looking really nice. So this thing's going to turn out great. So what I've got to do now, tape off this front bumper and the spoiler, paint it, blackwash the grill, get the decals on get them clear coated and uh, things gonna look nice so maybe another step or two and we'll be right back all right well i've got the decals on i've got the chassis and the everything's complete there so with the decals all being applied i'm now going to clear over my i just painted the black and just used flat black because i was going to clear it anyway so it didn't really matter got all the decals on it looks really cool I'll be honest with you i've uh not done so many decals these were the most the easiest decals 
there's not any hard contours or anything like that to uh i've got gloves on but there's no hard contours to try to get anything to wrap around but i did get the bumpers the rear valence or the rear whatever the thing below the front bumper got it all painted and yeah it's looking good the the chassis it's pretty cool it's just box stock absolutely box stock i had a time getting the trying to get the groove out of the tires i just stopped i didn't want to grind them completely through so uh be careful when you build this to get the tires completely flush and i thought i did but anyway um i can take some and dry brush right over the top of this with some uh some of the same color and get that remove that i might try that but i got the headers on i did some heat staining on the headers to try to give them a little bit of a hot look and black blackened the tips on both sides sorry this thing is hard to focus with my gloves on it's hard to touch the screen anyway got the tires all on it's looking pretty darn cool uh i painted the seat belts in the seat there so those are painted but what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna clear this um once i get it cleared and the clear hardens i'll paint the inside of the body completely black and put the windows in and add the parachutes to the back and put it together oh yeah where is the the cover that goes over everything the big giant firewall and all i got it painted and it's ready to go so it mounts to the underside of the body so let me shoot some clear and i'll be right back and we'll finish this thing up three two one all right guys well i have finished this thing skipped forward a little bit um decaled it cleared it put the windows in mounted the light bar um it turned out really nice i think it looks very cool this is an absolute box stock um build i did not do anything extra to it um if you did man this thing would turn into a really nice one especially with engine detail and things like that this has you know i didn't detail the engine at all as far as extra stuff so i couldn't be happier with a quick build it didn't take long it took me probably um i don't know you could have built this thing in two days if your paint would dry if you if you had you know time to sit down at the bench for that long but it took me a little longer because obviously going to work and things like that but anyway it turned out nice i went and instead of black i think the chassis well the way the folks that not the picture here but the whoever did the um built the box art car their chassis was white and i went ahead and uh painted mine metallic it was stainless steel is what the uh that's what the color was i did use some of the chrome parts not a lot i mean i used them but i, I re-chromed the majority of them but there are some of the still chrome parts in it the engine obviously was all that was re-chromed um but there are some parts that that were uh left chrome factory chrome i just think it turned out really nice the decals are real cool too so the headlight decals come with it i didn't even realize that i thought i was going to paint them but the marker lights or the blinkers the the headlights those are decals all the side decals those go on wonderful those were really nice decals hood decals but like i say i i cleared i cleared over there's the duster emblem back there too and the tail lights all, all those are decals so anyway, i cleared over everything to give it a nice gloss try to blend those decals in um i did re-chrome the uh light bar that is ak super chrome that's just sprayed right over the white plastic it's a pretty good chrome i got that from uh, hobby nut models I want to check that out if you guys want a pretty pretty nice chrome finish. Let me try to get zoomed in on the, the speaker. Yeah, that's just straight out of the bottle onto the white plastic. So there's no um, black under or anything like that. Interior of the uh, firewall was, I believe that was aluminum. AK aluminum over black. I didn't want to make it heavy. So it's a nice dark 
um, aluminum color and then the interior like I said the roll cage is all that stainless AK stainless I did paint the uh, seat black you can see that in there and then got the uh, got the uh, seat belts painted but it turned out real nice I like how the bumpers um, the bumpers I painted AK aluminum and the grill black washed the grill and then uh, the spoiler down at the bottom and the hood was just uh, to me a flat black and it's got clear over it but it turned out real nice sanded the tires re the rims that is spastic chrome on the on the wheels along with the engine that's spastics um, the rear tires I had a huge um, part parting line in it I tried to sand out and I couldn't get them to sand. It didn't look right sanded so I took these are uh, dry brushed with some graphite color and it really blended that seam in so it looks nice you can still see a seam but not near as bad and it gives it a nice um, nice drag tire look it like I say it was just a acrylic craft paint that was a uh, I believe it's graphite so it's 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 the perfect color for a used tire so that whole tire on the tread part is a uh, paint it's not it is sanded but then I painted over it so that turned out nice comes with a, a rubber blower belt I didn't even realize that on the unboxing but that has a rubber blower belt and I it's got this little stand here that you pop out and then the body will go down so let me take the stand out and the body sits down so it's nice one thing I will caution you about is the injector hat you see it with the three red um, butterflies that injector hat does not fit down in it hits so when this body comes down that's what it's sitting on it's sitting on the engine it shouldn't it comes with an injection and I don't have it right in front of me I didn't realize it but it also comes with an injection it's just a straight line injection that would fit under there much better so if you plan to build this kit you might want to try to incorporate the injection instead of the uh, the blower hat like it is because it does hit it does prevent it I think from going down completely but it does still have a nice nice stance so this was a lot of fun and again I want to say thank you to Ravel of the Americas for sending this to me to review and to build and I couldn't be more happy with it it is a uh, it's an old monogram kit um, came out a long time ago and it's still in great shape so you guys would be a lot really happy with building this um, not too many not too many things to caution you about except that uh, blower injection but uh, other than that shoot man this thing was nice it's got the wrinkle wall tires I did um, use a gel pen to highlight the the white walls or the uh, the letters on the tires and uh, yeah and I stained heat stained the let's see if I can pick this up without breaking anything I heat stained the headers to give it a, a nice uh, blue and I did incorporate a little bit of a uh, orange and I blacked out the tips because of not that nitromethane is going to smud anything up but I thought it gave it a, a pretty neat look to have the header tips a little little black so with that said thank you for watching this video guys thanks for uh thanks to Ravel for sending it to me if you want this kit go over to hobbynutmodels.com check him out mark over there has uh he carries these kits and go get grab yourself one hobby hobbynutmodels.com link in the description of the video please link, use the link that's in the description of my video if, if you make a purchase i get credit for that and uh helps me out anyway thanks guys for watching Thank you for subscribing. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And let me know, have you built this? Pretty cool car. I'm not a huge drag car model fan. Not fan. Builder. I love them. I love drag racing. I love drag cars. I just, I've just never really been into it. But anyway, here it is. It's kind of, I think, maybe my first official, like, straight up drag car. No, I did the, uh. I did the Ravel uh, Thunderbolt 
So that is an official drag car, sort of. But this is like a funny car, Exhibi uh, exhibition funny car. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. All right, guys, I'm done rambling. You guys take care. Don't forget, I'm gonna have a, a uh, bunch of pictures at the end here. So don't don't book out until you see the pictures. And we'll see you all uh, very soon. All right, guys, you take care. Bye.